In this video, I'm going to show you how to determine what COM port your uh, PC is operating with so that you can properly and correctly configure the EAS Unlock software. Most people will be using a USB to serial adapter, so I'll show you how to determine what COM port your USB to serial adapter is emulating. Some people will also be using a built-in serial port. If you're using a built-in serial port, the method to determining what COM port you're on is very similar. So first we'll start by going to the Windows Device Manager. We go into the Start menu, right-clicking on My Computer, and going to Manage. A new window shows up, and the Computer Management Console has the Device Manager contained within it. We'll then use this Windows Device Manager, which is a listing of all of the devices in this machine. And when I plug in the USB to serial adapter, which I'm going to plug it in just right now, a new section will show up called Ports. I'm going to plug it in right now. When plug it in, a new section called Ports has appeared. And in the ports section is a listing of all the COM ports in this machine. And there we go. So we have a USB serial adapter on COM port 3. Now this is the setting that we'll be using to configure the EAS Unlock software. And I'll also point out it's very important to actually install the drivers for your USB to serial adapter. Every one of these USB to serial adapters needs its own drivers. Um, you actually have to configure it with the proper drivers. Alright, so once you determine that you're running on a specific COM port, in this instance COM port 3, this COM port could be any number, it could be anywhere between 1 through 10. Um, you use that COM port number in the EAS Unlock software to configure it. So in this instance I'm in COM port 3. Now some people, they'll be up around COM port 7, COM port 5, and even though you know your COM port, sometimes the application isn't working properly. Um, the symptom of this is that when you attempt to initialize the communication between the laptop and the EAS computer, nothing comes back in the RX buffer, nothing comes back in the receive buffer. In instances like that, this is typically what I would do, uh, you can actually change the COM port that your USB to serial adapter is emulating. And you start that by right-clicking on the COM port, go to Properties, inside the properties menu um, you, you have different options here you just go to the port settings and you go to advanced inside the advanced you can change this COM port that the USB to serial adapter is emulating and in this instance I'm going to it'll I'm going to change it to COM port uh, COM port let's just for example change it to COM port 5 and um, change it to COM port 5 hit OK back out of the menu OK and Next time you unplug this and plug it back in, you should be on COM port 5. And then you can rerun, see now we're on COM port 5, and then you can rerun the EAS Unlock application with a new configuration of COM port 5 and attempt that. Um, usually this works if you're on a higher COM port, if you're on like COM port 7, you change it to the lowest possible COM port that's available and then try to, try to initialize communication with the EAS Unlock software again.